Yo, what's up guys? Today we are reacting to Finland and their comedian Ismo. We're here with Philip. Hello there, everyone. You ready for some stand-up comedy? Yes, of course. This is from Finland. Um, I was recommended this guy, so let's check them out. I've seen him before once, but let's check out his um, appearance on Conan. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Ismo. My next guest is the first comedian from Finland to perform on American television. This is wow, the first TV one. Okay, nice. Laugh Factory what an achievement. This weekend and at the Improv in Bragg, California on February 13th, making his late night stand up debut with us this evening. Please welcome the very funny Ismo. Ismo. A shout out to Finland. Shout out to Finland. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm laughing already. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, I am Ismo, and yes, I am from Finland. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I, I moved to America about a year ago, and, and it's been great. Uh, but I have to say that it took a long time to learn the things, like the small, subtle things. Like, it took me a year to figure out that the, the correct answer to what's up <laughs> uh, is uh, what's up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it took a long time, but now I know. If if somebody says what's up, I just say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And, uh, it, it feels wrong. Like I, I feel I'm not answering a question. You're but answering the question with people. another question. Yeah. So I just keep doing it. <laughs> They're happy. And, and it took me even longer than that to finally learn that uh, can I help you actually means uh, go away. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Learning, but, like, but I think the language still has been the, the most difficult part because I studied English for years and I thought I know English. But then I moved to America, turns out no. <laughs> and I didn't really know it, like all the things. Like, I think the hardest word to truly master has been the word ass. Oh. <laughs> ass. I thought it's really easy. It means a, a butt. <laughs> but no. Like, like, yeah, sometimes it can mean a butt. But that's sometimes. Just the tip of the ass bird. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there are so many meanings to the word ass. I think it's the most complicated word in English. I've been trying to write a whole dictionary about just ass. <laughs> there's so many. Like, for example, uh, lazy ass. <laughs> that means uh, lazy. <laughs> <Just> like, <lazy. laughs> like, like, my lazy ass husband, it's the same sentence without the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so why include it, right? So, yeah, the ass, the ass is just optional there. It's, it's uh, optional. Uh, and long ass means long. And just long. <laughs> like a long ass flight. So, so long flight. <laughs> but, but if you want to make it longer, you can add ass. <laughs> and my definite favorite one, um, a grown ass man. <laughs> it, it turns out it means a, a grown man. The entire man has grown, <laughs> only his ass. Uh, so, so I learned that you can, just, you can just add ass to anything, and then it sounds a little bit cooler. Like anything, I, I just bought this blue ass shirt. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it. Oh, thank you, that was some good ass meatballs. <laughs> anything, but... But you have to be careful because sometimes if you add ass to something, it can actually reverse the meaning of the original word. Like, for example, bad ass. That's good. <laughs> like, bad is bad, but bad ass is good. But not always. Like, dumb ass is still dumb. <laughs> so, how can you know? You have to know specifically which ones are flipped. And, and then there's the concept of your ass. And your ass, that means, like, yourself. Like, like move your ass. That, that's like, move everything. <laughs> move your ass and the rest of your body. And like, everything. If you have a car, that's included in the ass. 
All of them, same direction, just move. So your ass means yourself plus all you have. But my ass, my ass, that means like, no. <laughs> like if I say that, wow, this car is really fast, and you say, ah, oh, fast, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so it means like, no. <laughs> It's not fun. <laughs> and, uh, and, and to make it even more complicated, ass can be divided. Because <laughs> like, if you are an ass, that means that you're being stupid. But if you're half ass, <laughs> then, 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 it, uh, then it, it, means that, uh, it means that you are not concentrating properly. <laughs> and if you go even smaller, if you are a piece of ass, <laughs> oh my goodness. then you are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bro. That's great. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. That was fantastic. And that was his first appearance. <laughs> Just wow. wait until he learns about kiss my. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and if you say you are, it you are. Oh, well, we don't. I don't know. That's a swear <laughs> word, right? Some people say it's a swear word. Some people don't say say it's not. Yeah. It's on late night television. I don't know. Yeah, it, late night television usually got the. It's a little bit more unrestricted. So yeah, but when when you say like for example, um, you want to say somebody's not good at something, you say you are. And then that word, yeah. Um, yeah, which means you suck at, at that game, for example. Yeah, yeah. Or it's yeah. not good. Yo, that was funny. I think his delivery was like kind of like an <laughs> awkward delivery. Yeah, he, yeah. I I got the same vibe from him. <laughs> I believe that's why he was so funny. Yeah, I was laughing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was funny. I mean, um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and as a as an English teacher myself, I am um, uh, I feel like inclined to use this in my classroom <laughs> to teach them <laughs> like the difference between um, adjectives and verbs and stuff like that. I think that would be a nice yeah. lesson and a funny lesson too. But that was that was funny. You know, Ismo is a funny guy, and um, if I'm not I think mistaken. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think he went to America's Got Talent or something like that. But um, it's nice that he is, you know, um, he is like blowing up on like uh, Western type of, of media. So Good that's funny. It's, it's hard for you to translate comedy, right? And he's yeah. a Finnish guy <laughs> making a lot of Americans laugh. That's that's great. That's great humor. Using the American language. Exactly. <laughs> And it's funny because it's relatable for both sides. Um, Americans yeah. understand the difficulty for foreigners to learn English, and um, the foreigners understand that you know it, it's a funny thing that one word can mean so many things. Yeah. Anyways, uh, guys, that was fun. If you want us to react to other stand-up comedy, more videos of Ismo, let me know your favorite. If you're a fan, please. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Philip really funny. enjoyed it. So, guys, we're going to go to the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join us on Discord. The link is in the description so you can send us videos there. And we'll see you soon. Take care for now. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.